G'day ZGD here and welcome back for some more Borderlands the pre-sequel. In this video I'm going to be covering for you guys a farming location that is extremely handy to know. This is known as the Triton Flats Darksiders Farming. Now, this farming location can be used about four times throughout the campaign and you might find yourself returning there even more if you're in need of a little bit of extra XP or gear. Basically, uh, you first come through this area for a quest and then uh, you can you can farm that a little bit then. This works in both normal and true Vault Hunter mode. So when you find yourself directed here because of a quest, you'll talk to a claptrap that will tell you to come here, kill the guy, and collect some of these crystals. Now, uh, after, you, uh, after you've done that quest, you can actually just farm this location for a little while. Now then you continue on with the main storyline. You do some other side quests, maybe do a little bit of farming in other areas. And then you'll find yourself returning to Triton Flats to uh, go and fight RK5. So that's uh, kind of towards the tail end of the story campaign, so towards the end of the game. And this is usually a spot where you uh, are struggling. The RK5 fight and LSE are extremely difficult zones, and you may find yourself underleveled. That especially is the spot where it's a really good idea to come back here to Triton Flats and do some Darksiders farming. Because uh, what happens is when the story uh, brings you back here to Triton Flats, so when it directs you, basically puts a little you know, puts a little diamond on here and tells you to come back here, then uh, what happens is everything level scales up to you, so, and then, and then some, so it should be able to scale a few levels, and this can take you all the way to like level 47, 48, where you can then move into either some RK5 farming, some uh, Iwajira farming, or some Elysia farming. You have a few different options there to get those last couple levels, but you can grab a good chunk of levels in here. So, if you're kind of like scratching your head wondering where you should be farming, like you don't, you don't, you don't want to do any of your side quests because you want to save them for a little while to get the rewards at level 50 but you need to grab a few levels then you might want to consider coming here so what happens when you spawn in a Triton Flats you'll be facing this direction you want to just head right underneath this crystal and head through the hallway now the reason why this is such a fantastic farming location is the mobs in here are uh, relatively easy they give decent XP there's many waves of them so there's quite a few mobs to fight you can see all these guys spawning out of the caves here you can kill the unique mobs which give extra uh, extra XP, like Magma Rivers here is an example of one of these guys just here, who's taking me out. That's okay, I'm very squishy being Nisha. But uh, we do the DPS, so it doesn't matter. So you can you can kill out all, all these guys, get a decent chunk of XP when you're finished up with these guys just in here. You can then shoot this little jump pad here. So just pop a shot on that, then boost up the top here. Run out, and then you get to do another chunk of farming here. You'll be another several waves that will spawn here, in addition to another two unique mobs as well. So we will get Fair Dinkum here. We can take Fair Dinkum out. Then we'll get uh, a few more uh, just of the dark side of spawning, and then Wally Wrong will eventually pop out as well, and you can finish him off. So it's uh, it's very fast. It's an extremely fast run. You don't have to run anywhere to get here. It's right at the waypoint. Like you literally have to take two steps, and you're in the zone. So uh, it's very very fast and very efficient. And then uh, the XP of these guys is pretty decent, and because they level scale with you all the way up to kind of like uh, 47, 48, uh, you can you can get really good XP in here without uh, you know really hitting that level penalty. So after you finish these guys off, you can uh, run around up this side, hit this jump pad here, land on this other jump pad, and it'll bounce you up to the roof. So after you've finished doing the uh, XP portion of the run, what you can do is get some free ammo refills over at the ammo crates just here. So we can be like, alright, I'm out of pistol ammo, but we don't want to have to spend any cash. We're trying to save up some cash maybe to buy some legendaries from the uh, vending machines. Then you can pop over here and finish up the run with a nice little treasure chest surprise. So you can grab these items and sell them or perhaps find a few nice upgrades. So uh, this is a great run just to get that XP and to grab a bit of extra gear so that you can get and progress with some of those other quests. It's an extremely handy one to know and I want to make these videos for these different farming locations that are handy to know because uh, I'm putting together like a full leveling guide and uh, kind of it's a bit difficult to explain what a lot of these farming runs are without actually showing them. So throughout the series of all of these different farming videos I'll be able to put them all together and eventually you guys will have like a complete picture of what the leveling process is like and where the different excellent locations are to farm. So anyway, once you finish, just save and quit, and you can redo the run again. It'll spawn you right there at that at that fast travel station. You can run straight back in. There's literally no downtime. You can just do these runs back to back really quickly, half an hour, an hour, and you'll be you'll be set and ready to go again. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.